Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's rescue session. Last week, I spoke to Quentin Simon's grandfather, Henry Bubba Moss Sr. Well, tonight he's back, and he wants to chat. Okay, now, the other day I posted a video where I described a brief vision that I had seen in regards to Henry's death. I actually have two videos. I have the video of when I actually saw the accident, and then I also have a video that describes um, the area and the building that his accident was in front of better, and I show the area on Google Maps. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you check that out. But anyway, the reason I'm telling you that is because Henry is asking me if I would report what I saw to the police. Okay, Henry, I, I don't know about that. I've never actually done anything like that before. And I'm a little bit concerned that law enforcement might not have any interest in hearing what I claim to have seen. He's saying, please try. You know, I mean... I, I think that they do have an email address that you can send them information to, and I do suppose that the worst thing that could happen is that they would just disregard it. So I'm not going to promise anything at this moment, but I, I will look into it. He says, please try. Okay, Henry, I will try. What else is on your mind tonight, Henry? He says that he's worried about Junior. I'm assuming Junior is your son. Yeah, he calls him Junior. Okay, what exactly is going on with Junior that makes you worried? He says that he's drinking and smoking a lot of pot. Well, you know, everybody grieves in their own way. He says that he takes pills sometimes. What kind of pills? Opioids. Okay, well, unfortunately, opioids are a problem in this country. Are you worried he's going to overdose? Yeah, he's worried he's going to overdose. Has he been acting like he wants to hurt himself? No. No, he's just doing too many things, he thinks. Well, you know, your son is going through a lot right now. He's trying to process a lot. I'm sure he has friends that are probably looking out for him. He, Henry says, yeah, he does. He says, but he needs to make sure that he's okay because he, I, I, I have to warn you guys, this might get a little intense um, because Henry's, I don't know, I think, I think he's kind of spilling his guts a little bit here, to be honest. He says that he wasn't the best father. He says that they didn't have a good relationship, him and Bubba Jr. Uh, I don't think I should probably describe some of the things that I'm hearing right now, um, but just suffice it to say that he feels like he was way too harsh on him throughout his childhood. And all I really want to say about it is that there there was physical abuse, not nothing sexual, just but it, there was physical abuse. Okay, Henry, well, I understand what you're saying. And, you know, once again, unfortunately, way too many people are abusive towards their children. The important thing is that you understand that that was a problem. You understand that you should have done better. He said, yeah, but too late. <sighs> Yeah, yes, it, you did figure it out too late, but you're figuring it out now. He's, um, Henry's breaking down, you guys. He's, it's really, it's really getting to him bad. He, I, I don't know exactly, you know, what their relationship was like between him and his son, um, but he is feeling pretty guilty about it. Try to stay calm, Henry. I know, I understand that you're hurting. Yeah, he's just, 
it's really getting him, guys. He, one thing that I can say is that although I do not condone the things that Henry most likely did um, while he was alive, um, he is feeling genuine remorse right now. He is definitely feeling regret for not having been a better person. Okay, look, dude, you have got to let it go. You have got to accept the things that you have done and you have got to let it go. Because if you carry this with you into the next life, then you are going to be doomed to repeat these mistakes over and over again. He's saying, do I really believe that? Yes. Yes, I really, truly believe that. Yes. He's asking me what he should do. As far as what? As far as letting it go? He says yes. Well, like I said, in my experience, what you have to do is you have to accept that you can't change it. It's, it's too late, you know? It's too late to change anything that you did during your life. If you can accept it and you can acknowledge that you should not have done those things and you can try to cement it in your mind that you do not want to make those mistakes going forward, then I really feel like that's how you can let go. Now he's asking, what can he do to help his son? I honestly, Henry, I, I don't know. I think that Bubba Jr. is probably going to have to come to terms with things on his own. He says, no, I have to help. I'm not 100% sure how you can help. You know what, you guys, I, I have to be honest. I don't, uh, I don't think that anybody has ever asked me to help them help a loved one heal. Usually, if I can help them, you know, connect to that person or at least find their way back to that person, I think that it just usually kind of works it out on its own. Or maybe people might figure out on their own what they can do to help. But I don't think that anyone has ever asked me what they should do. I don't know. I'm Like I said, I'm not sure what to tell them. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. What, what do you think? What should I tell Henry that he can do in his death to help his son who is still alive heal from the bad relationship that they had. Henry, I am honestly not sure what to tell you right now. I'm not sure. I, I will have to think about it a little bit, I think. He's saying, please try. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll think about it. And I will, I will try to come up with something that I think you might be able to do. But I think the best thing for you to do would be to think about what you know about your son. Um, what kind of things comfort him? What kind of things uh, make him feel a little bit better about life? You know, maybe you could help him in that way somehow. He says that's a good idea. Okay. I Yeah, Henry, I will work on it for you. And I will get back to you. Okay? Okay, He's, he says thank you. I am going to let you go for now, Henry. Okay, N thank you. Well, that was uh, that was kind of intense, you guys. Um, I'm not really sure how to end it, to be honest. I guess I'm just gonna wrap it up. Please let me know in the comments what you think I should tell Henry. You know, I have to have, regardless of what may have happened, I have to have a certain amount of respect that he feel so adamantly that he should do something to help. You know, that's at least growth. Anyway, like I said, you know, don't forget to drop me a comment. Please like, subscribe, please share. And as always, thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.